What's up guys, Mambo VP. This is GTEC254. As many of us know, of late there has been an influx of cheap Chinese built Bluetooth speakers in the market. Having never bought any Bluetooth speaker myself, I decided to try out one for myself. So this is the Sardine F4 waterproof Bluetooth speaker review. Is it worth it? Stick around and find out. The unboxing experience of this speaker is really nothing to write home about. Let's hope it's going to make it up with the sound experience. Inside the retail box, we find the Bluetooth speaker wrapped in a plastic bag along with a manual and a small box with accessories. This pales in comparison with speakers from more expensive brands such as Sony, JBL or Bose which provide a more interesting or more exclusive unboxing experience. The accessories provided in the small box include a 3.5mm aux cable, a short micro USB cable that is used to charge the speaker, and a hook that you can use to attach to bags for carrying purposes. Looking at the build quality, I would say it's much much better than many of the other inexpensive Bluetooth speakers that I have come across. The front is covered by a black metallic mesh that feels quite sturdy. There is also the Sardine brand name in the middle. The back of the speaker has the same metallic mesh as well as a rubber flap. This flap provides a level of water and dust protection as indicated by the speaker's IP65 rating. Now an IP65 rating means that a speaker is protected from ingressing dust particles as well as low pressure water jets and splashes from all directions. This however means that you should never ever submerge this speaker in water. Across the top and the sides, the speaker is made of a smooth hard plastic that doesn't feel cheap in any way. The right side has a rubber strap that you can attach the hook for carrying purposes. This speaker does have quite a nice finish on it, with red accents on the corners and on the top surrounding the buttons. Other colors available include yellow and grey. Looking at the top of the speaker, we find the usual media control buttons. There is the next track button, volume up, play or pause, volume down and the previous track button. There is a microphone port on the top that you can use to receive calls on. The back of the speaker as we saw earlier has a very sturdy metallic grill as well as a rubber flap. The flap covers the on off slider, the 3.5mm audio port, the micro USB slot as well as the micro USB charging port. Now let's get to the most important part of this review, the sound test. I'm going to play two tracks and then talk about the sound characteristics. Brian Little. <laughs>
Well, there we have it, guys. I would like to mention that the sound captured through my microphone and played over YouTube may not be the most accurate depiction of the speaker's sound characteristics. However, it should be adequate enough for you to make your own judgment. The speaker is quite loud and able to fill a typical living room space or bedroom quite comfortably. My most comfortable high listening volume was around 80%. It has a very well balanced sound signature for a speaker of its size. The highs are nicely defined and not overpowering to the ears. The mid tones are nice as well but could be a bit better in my opinion. For a layman who isn't much of an audiophile, I am very satisfied. It's much better than for example many of the fake beat spill speakers doing rounds in the market. This speaker also has a very nice and slightly punchy bass which becomes a whole lot more pronounced when any bass boost feature or equalization setting in music players is used. I was very much pleased by that. Hip hop and trap lovers will surely appreciate that. Overall, the sound characteristics are satisfying for a speaker in its price point. I am confident that many would appreciate the experience. Turning to the speaker's battery life, after charging it fully, I was able to get 16 hours of music playback at medium volume. If you listen to music for a few hours a day at medium volume, you could easily stay for almost a week or so without charging. In conclusion, with its good battery life, punchy bass, water and dust resistance, this is a great purchase. Links on pricing, availability and my social media accounts can be found down below. Remember to add me on Instagram and Twitter for the behind the scenes info on upcoming videos. And if you enjoyed this content, uh, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.